I'm going to start off by applying this amazing cosmetics anti-aging primer to my face and then for foundation since it's a Barbie inspired look I'm going to apply the Kat Von D foundation and since this one's a little bit too light for me I'm going to apply this motives one I'm going to mix it with that and um, I'm just going to dot it all over my face and then I actually had to use a brush for my motives one because the pump broke and then I'm just going to buff that out with a Sigma F80 Kabuki brush to color correct under my eyes, I'm going to use this NYX um, color corrector in the shade light. And then I'm going to go in with this um, Urban Decay Naked Concealer. And I think it's in the shade Fair. It's actually the lightest one. And then I'm just going to blend that out with my Sigma E40 blending brush. To set that under my eyes, I'm going to use the Ben Eye Cameo Powder. And then to set my whole face, just to give me a little bit extra coverage, I'm going to use the Tarte. Um, it's a foundation, actually. I'm just going to buff that all over my face, and it's just going to give me a little bit extra coverage. For bronzer, I'm going to use the Sigma limelight bronzer just because the photo that I was looking at from this brunette Barbie that I was inspired by she doesn't really have a lot of contour I'm not sure why but she doesn't have a lot of contour so this is a really perfect natural contour just gonna take that around my cheekbones and my forehead and then I'm actually gonna contour my nose um, I'm gonna try to do it as skinny as possible without looking weird And then for blush, I used NYX's Apricot Blush, which is really just like a, a really light pinkish color. For the highlight, I'm going to use Anastasia's Starlight. I've been kind of obsessed with this one lately. And then for my brows, I used the Benefit Cosmetics Browsing in the shade Medium. And I only used the darkest color. Um, the more like gel like color I don't like the other color that comes with it it just doesn't fit me very well and then to start my eyes I'm gonna use a base in that Sigma's eyeshadow base in persuade and then I'm just gonna apply that all over my eyes and then I'm gonna use Tarte's black and plum gel eyeliner to kind of make that cut crease really sharp and I don't have to you don't have to be like perfect with it the first time I'm just gonna draw a line just above my crease and it's just more of a guideline and then after I do that I'm gonna take a pencil brush and blend that out just to kind of diffuse the lines and make sure there's no harsh lines and then what I did was I took the Morphe 35N palette and I took this kind of like dark plum color and with the same pencil brush I went over that line and just above it and kind of blended that out a little bit. And to further blend it I took this same Morphe palette in this darker brown shade and I took my Sigma E25 blending brush and then just further blended that out. And I'm blending that upwards. And then after that's all blended out how I like it, I'm going to take the Motives Heat Wave Eyeshadow, which is actually a really perfect color while, um, compared to the pitcher. I'm just going to go over all of that and make sure it's blended even more with that shadow. And then for the lid color, I'm going to take this Motives Life of the Party palette, and I'm going to take this shimmery color and just apply that with my Sigma E55 brush. And then I just wanted it to sparkle even more, which is this step is not necessary because they're almost identical, the colors. Um, I took Anastasia's Peach Sorbet and put that on top. And then for liner, I used the Tarte liner. And in the picture, her liner is super thick. So I'm just going to make a, a basic wing, but a little bit thicker. I usually don't like to add a basic white in my waterline because for some reason it doesn't really show up very well. So I use this MAC. Um, I'm not sure what it's called, like a concealer pencil or something like that. I'll have it listed in the description box below. And then I took this eyeliner pencil by Aurora Cosmetics and I just used that to kind of like draw little fake lashes under my lash line. And if you want it to be a little bit more dramatic, you can do them thicker and longer, but I didn't really feel like doing that. 
for my lips I started out with um because in the picture they're super light she has super light lips on so I started out with Motive's natural lip liner and then I went in with Dose of Colors sand liquid lipstick and then just to make it a little bit more pinkier I went in with Gerard Cosmetics um buttercup lipstick and then I went in with Gerard Cosmetics lip gloss in shimmer of hope and then just to top that off which really made the lips what they are um, I used the motives kiss me lip gloss which is just such a pretty color I don't know why I don't use this color more